Welcome to a very special edition of Hard for Games. Mm -hmm. We're responding to a fan comment asking us to give our pairings of beers and video games. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to introduce to you. I'm Adam. I'm Josh. Tony. Richie. Let's get started. Cheers. Let's Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. So this is going to be our first pairing. It's a pretty, pretty traditional wheat. It's not too heavy. It's something you can still be functional after one or two. And I think it pairs perfectly well with like a Mario, a platformer game where you're, you're exploring. There's not a whole lot of pressure, but you still need a little bit of precision to make those jumps. Glass ready for me. <laughs> this is not a terrible plus four. <laughs> Oh my god. This is the god. worst part I've ever oh seen my, in my life. Oh my god. This is the god. worst part I've ever seen in my life. See, that's, that's platformy too. You could totally like have to jump up this waterfall as it as it settles. To be fair, this type of beer, because it's a nitro, will settle up, but the way you poured it did not help. <laughs> <laughs> the next beer pairing is for RPGs. Now, when I'm playing an RPG, I like to slow the pace down a little bit. A little bit of a darker beer, something I can sip on over a duration of time. And so, you know, RPGs are better for the winter because, you know, people uh -huh. are inside, they're not socializing as much. Yes. You don't feel as bad for getting away from the world for 60, 80, 100 hours. 100 Just plus. Just drinking porters the entire time. <laughs> exactly. It's not bad. It's not bad. So we actually have a uh, vanilla Java porter Ooh. here today. Such a classic. But it still oh. tastes just fine, right? You gotta try this, guys. It's actually good. I heard you. I don't want to. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Adam, you want to take a sip? Yeah. So the next one has a couple of kind of stipulations here. So we understand that not everyone who's going to be watching this right now is of age to drink, right? A lot of kids on YouTube, they're younger. Yeah. So we also wanted to provide something for them because we would never uh, suggest that anyone underage should be drinking. So if you are underage and you are playing a retro game. Retro game. I have a couple drinks from the 90s. Yeah. So, you remember Surge? Actually, you don't remember Surge because you're a child. Uh, so this came out and was canceled, basically, in the late 90s. This was the early 90s and was promptly discontinued. Yeah. So, Crystal Pepsi and Surge. Actually, go ahead and open that one up. Right. This one tastes kind of like if you mix Sprite with Pepsi. Get the aroma. Get the mm. aroma. Yep. It's like Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow had a baby. <laughs> it basically is. And it became Surge. It became Surge. Let's do a little uh, swap yeah. What do you think of that? Let me try oh, this. it's like Pepsi, but it's white. <laughs> Let me try that. Let me try that. <laughs> you want to feel like you're living in the 90s. Got a little cocktail for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Virgin cocktail. Crystal Pepsi. A little bit of Surge. We'll say half Surge, half Crystal Pepsi. I don't know, I'm making this up on the spot. Two fingers each, you know. Give it a try. It's actually not it's bad. It's not bad. Yeah. So if you are underage, you're playing retro games, and you want early child onset diabetes, 100% rock the Crystal Pepsi Surge cocktail. For sure. It's not bad. So I chose the 51K IPA. It's from Marquette, Michigan. It's a 7% IPA, and I chose this to pair with sports games. And my favorite sports games are all the NHL ones. EA Sports. That's our go-to oh. game now. We call Seriously. them uh, NHL 013, 14, 15. Yeah. 017. We'll slaughter you. Since it's a 7%, it has a little bit of a bite. Being an IPA, you're gonna be drinking them slowly instead of throwing back multiple light beers, Bud Light, Miller Light, Labatt Light. What's the meaning behind it for you? So Black Rocks is actually uh, a landmark in Marquette where you can jump off the rocks into ice cold Lake Superior water. So not only is it 30 feet up above the water, but you're gonna jump off it, you're gonna get hurt. And you land in the water and it's freezing cold. So- uh, It's like getting hit in hockey. It's like hockey. So you're gonna get hit and it's gonna be cold. It smells like pine trees. Mmm. So this isn't the exact glass that you're supposed to drink an IPA out of, but Tony was a klutz and broke all his glasses. But uh, we'll drink it out of this and see how it tastes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's better. It's not that know. bad. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you think it's okay. <laughs> 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 
Mm-hmm. Have either of you guys ever had Rolling Rock before? Yep. Yeah, it's like water. How? Yeah, it's kind of like water, right? Yep. So this is the perfect beer for when you're playing a really shitty game that sucks ass, and you don't really know exactly how bad it is. And the Rolling Rock, it's it's what is it, like 4%, 4.4% alcohol by volume, so you can just keep drinking these until you're at the right spot. But the important thing with this one is that you really, you gotta drink it out of a trash can. So, oh, that's the proper vessel for this guy. All right, who's going for it? It's all you. I wouldn't do it, it was really gross in there. <laughs> oh. Richie, that looked like it was just water that poured in there. I don't know how that's possible. Next up is La Femme de Mon. It's a, oh, a Belgian beer uh, from Quebec. It's 9% alcohol, so this is a taste and set it down for a little while. La Femme de Mon, translated into English, is the end of the world. So when I drink this beer, I'm definitely playing Mortal Kombat or Doom is what comes to my mind. Fallout, maybe Resident, Resident Evil, Evil, Silent Hill. Yeah. Pretty much anything that's With got blood, a little bit of the guts. end of the world to it. Yeah. There's Lots some Final of Fantasies that are appropriate. Bodies in half. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let's get this open. It's the tulip glass. Cheers. Just drink How out is that it. better than my pour? Just drink out of that. I swear the liquid to head ratio is far that is delicious. Worse and bad. It's got a little sweetness, like when you have a bitter, sweet KO. It's uh, like a friendship in Mortal Kombat. Johnny Cage wins. Friendship. Friendship again? First person shooters, what's the proper beer pairing? During the game, none. I'm already such rubbish. How could I possibly sabotage myself with any alcohol? But after the game, after setting a world record for how many deaths one man can get in one round of an FPS, I need all of them. All of the booze. Because you know how hard it is to actually kill yourself in a first person shooter? Adventure RPGs, adventure games, think Zelda. And I chose Guinness. Now this is kind of similar to my RPG pairing because you want something smooth that you kind of sip on and enjoy as you go on your adventure. But unlike a lot of slower paced RPGs, Zelda, since it's more action oriented, oftentimes you have to be on your feet. And Guinness, at least in the US, is more kind of a light beer. Like the alcohol content isn't that high. Uh, it's calorically kind of a light beer. It's really baby's first dark beer, just in terms of like smoothness and coloration. And it pairs really well with Lan Lan Ranch milk. Yes, pairs Absolutely extraordinarily perfectly. well. That's why you, you have do to drink it fast. But. Irish Lan Lan milk bombs. Mm -hmm. Very good. So this isn't the exact glass that we're supposed to use with the Guinness. I had a full set of everything I would need when I got married, but as time went on, things got done broke. The next pairing isn't about playing a game. It's about when you're reviewing games. Now, here at Hard For Games, there's one beer that stuck with us throughout the ages. I think you know what I'm talking about. I think I do too. Baltica, it is a Russian beer. There's tons of different kinds. Here's a number eight. Uh, wheat Ale, probably a better version of it somewhere. Number four. Dark Lager. Number six. Porter, definitely some better porters out there, I'm sure. I'm gonna need your help with this one. It's a little heavy. Now this one's the one of a kind. Yes. Extra lager. It is as good as any 40 you've ever had, plus 11 ounces. And it's 8%. And it's in a plastic bottle so you can beat your friends with it. And it's over a thousand calories. The glass you're supposed to utilize is of course the Baltica glass. Official brand Baltica glass. Rich, you want to give one of these a pour? Do you taste the extra in it? <laughs> you will after you have a few. It kind of smells like eggs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, there are some memories here. Three bucks. I should also say that this is about three dollars and fifty cents Just in most places. Three buck yeah, so it'll it'll water. it'll get you there. Ah. Richie's leaving because ah. he's gonna go puke. 
Thank you very much for watching everybody and thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed our proper beer pairings with different video games and genres. Uh, where, where's Richie, guys? <laughs> the Baltic is calling. <laughs> Richie didn't quite make it. He did not make it. Yeah, but uh, to represent Richie, we, we <laughs> the, the extra in extra lager <laughs> is for Richie. Is for Richie. Cheers, so. gentlemen. Thank you again for subscribing. Cheers. We'll see you all next time. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.